Hey crafty friends, this is Jenny from crafttestummies.com and today I have a really fun project for you. We're going to make a dude card, a card for Father's Day or a male graduation card, but it's a card for the dudes and I'm so excited because I'm part of a collaboration today. You are going to be overwhelmed by these amazing cards made by 26 fantastic YouTubers. I have the full list of all of us in the description and there's kind of a, like a little um, hide and seek going on too. So at some point during this today, I'm going to give you a secret word and when you collect all of the secret words from all 26 videos, you can go enter to win some really cool prizes. So, I mean, come on, what's not to love? I'm going to show you how to make a cool card. You're going to be introduced to some other amazing YouTubers and you have a chance to win some goodies. What's not to love? You ready to get started? Let's go. For my card, I'm not using anything too very fancy, but I am using a manual die cutting machine and this diamond plate embossing folder. I'm also using a couple of hexy thin rule dies, but you know, you can use any shape that you like or have on hand. You'll also need some black cardstock, some kind of pretty black texture, a little bit of red, of course, an adhesive. And for this project, I'm using metal flashing tape. So before we get started, I just want to talk about this metal flashing tape. Now you can get this at the hardware store, which is why it's so great for dude cards because this is something that dudes and girls actually use for DIY projects. It is only a few inches wide, but it is already adhesive backed and this is metal flashing tape. But I'm going to show you how beautiful you can emboss this and it really looks like a million bucks. So as you can see here, I actually have a piece of scrap paper that is cut to the size of my card front. And what I'm going to do is just go ahead and cover this whole piece with some flashing and then run it through the embossing machine. Now, if you notice, it's not really big enough to go across this way. So what I like to do is actually run it across diagonally and piece it. I just think you notice the seams a little less on the diagonal. And this is sticky on the back. So what I'll do is this way. Now, if you have a non-stick surface on your table, I would go ahead and just, you know, work on that. But because this will stick to my shiny table, I'm going to work upside down. And I'm just going to place it like this. And then use my fingers to just smooth it down. And if there's a little wrinkle, don't worry, because we're going to run it through the embossing machine anyway. And then I'm just going to trim off the excess with my scissors. Now, if you have non-stick scissors, that is also super great. But you can see that you can also just pick it off your scissors like this. And I'm going to repeat until all the edges are covered. And now I'm going to run it through my Sizzix and give it a nice emboss. One time through is all it takes. Now I'm going to take my Hexi dies and I'm going to cut a background mat that is black and a sentiment area that is white. Alright, so now I have my pattern piece of paper and my embossed metal, and you can see just how cool and shiny that is, and how those seams kind of disappear uh, when they're set on the angle. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to layer them one on top of the other, and I'm going to run it through um, a heavy-duty cardstock cutter. And I'm going to do it just on an angle. This is not going to be precise, but what it'll do is it'll actually give me two pieces of cardstock so that I can actually create two cards with one and uh, this is very similar to my two for cards that I have made in the past so what I'm going to do is measure about an inch down from the corner on one side and an inch down from the corner on the other side like so give it a push down and then use my trimmer to cut it nice and cleanly and 
There we go. A fan of a little pop of color. So I wanted to create just a little red stripe. And so I'm using some scratch paper. And actually this is post-it paper, so it's already self-adhesive. And I'm just cutting a few of these strips to use as accents. And now it's time to put it all together. I'm gonna to put these pieces back kind of like a puzzle and I will have a card ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a nice sturdy adhesive. And this is the Easy Runner Grand by Scrapbook Adhesives. There we go. Now let's add that little fun pinstripe down the side, like so. All right, let's put it all together. I like to uh, kind of put things at a little bit of an angle. I just think it makes it more interesting. So I'm gonna start off by using my nice strong adhesive and applying it to the lower corner like so. Boy, that's like an earthquake right there. Okay, let's try it again. Like so. And then for this, I don't wanna put it straight on. I kinda of angle it a little bit, but this time I'm gonna use a little bit of foam adhesive. And you can see here, I stamped on the back. I didn't like that one as much as I like the one on the front. So don't forget, you've got two sides of the paper. You can choose what you like better. And now, I will. Put it all together. So here you go. You have two different versions. Um, one, you can uh, you know add a little embellishment if you feel like it needs it, or just let it stand on its own. And of course, when you use this particular card making method, you get two for one, which is always great. I really hope that you enjoyed making this card and participating in this blog hop. Please go down and visit all of the different bloggers and YouTubers that are participating. You're going to love the cards that you see. And since we're still collecting our secret words, uh, everything has to do with a tool or something you'd find in dad's garage. So I had letter O and O stands for oil can. So make sure you use the secret word oil can when you uh, enter to win the goodies. So thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. I hope that you've enjoyed visiting the channel and most of all, have a crafty day.